So with regards to the earnings, let's try and have a deeper look to see what's going on. Um, so on the, on the Discord, COTX have actually released a, a, an FAQ with some information about SSR, um, SNR, noise and, and things. Um, and you know some of you will be familiar with some, uh, this page, which is the wireless analysis page, and it shows you a graph of your, your sort of daily number of beacons and within that how much the beacon uh, the, the, the sort of the received strength of the beacon so what I did was for my hotspot so let's just have a look now let's just log in change that um, so if you just go to tools wireless analysis you will see that actually, even though I installed it on the 6th, because there was an update, um, the, the data has been lost for prior days, which I find quite annoying. It means if you don't plan ahead and you don't save every day, there is a chance you lose the data. So again, if you look down here, I've only got data going back to the 11th, even though um, ideally you would have the data kept there. It could potentially be because, let's have a look at my storage. It might be because of the, the storage it loads potentially it might be when there was a disk cleanup it got rid of the logs as well um, but what I did was I actually just copied all this data uh, into a spreadsheet just so that I could have it and I also took a print screen of this so if we have a look now um, the graphs so this this was the graph this is the graph now. Um, so you can see on the 11th, we had a pretty awful day. Um, 13th looked very good. Um, in fact, it looked very, very good because we're seeing almost 400 um, packets or beacons that, that were received by the miner. Let's go back to where it was before though. So on the 6th and prior to the 6th, in terms of the, even the total packet seen, you know, I would say the the average was bit, was just underneath, just under 150, and you can see the on the six when I installed the filter, um, you can see the blue bar, which I believe I'll just double check this, the blue bar is you know, an RSI RSSI of between minus 110 and minus 130, so, uh, what we what we consider sort of weak beacons, and in this instance, what it's saying is you are now able to listen to weaker beacons and therefore um, have the potential to earn more because you can hear better. Um, so, so what what can what can we glean from this? Well, the the purple bars, which are the you know the, the more obvious beacons, that are between one hundred and ten and minus one hundred and ten and minus ninety. Um, if we have a look. So there were plenty of purple bars, but not many blue bars. And in terms of the total, it was roughly 150. Now, the total is a lot higher, I would say. Um, you know, the lowest was about 150, but we're averaging probably something like 250. Um, and the purple bars are still maintaining, you know, somewhat... Uh, just just shy of 100, maybe maybe a bit more around here, but I think that's when the network was doing good. And that we can see that the blue bars have have increased, which is a good sign, as COTX will tell you. Um, so even though the earnings haven't increased, it looks like the number of just sheer number of packets being witnessed has increased, and the the quieter packets are being heard better. Um, and I and I think this is. You know this FAQ page, which COTX have um, have put out, it's probably going to explain ex explain that in in some some way. So okay, and then the next the next thing I wanted to look at was okay. So if we have all this data, and we can see that um, what COTX are saying is that depending on how much ambient noise you have, you may or may not require a filter. 
and they've done a calculation which says noise is equal to the RSSI minus the SNR. So when we look at, when we take this data from this table, so that's the RSSI, that's the SNR, and then using these two values, you can calculate noise. Um, so what I've done here is I've just got, I've, I've thankfully, from the 29th of December, uh, I've been trying to copy and paste until up till yesterday, the, all, all, the, all the packets that have been coming in. Um, so what, what can we do? Well, let's, let's do some, what can we do? Let's, let's take the data and let's just add a few more fields in because right now we've, we've essentially got date and time in, this, in column A. Let's just do date. So let's just do trim. Actually, no, let's just do left. Um, and then let's just take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get ten characters. And let's see if that works. This is just going to give us the date. Now let's see if this works. Yeah, this should work because they're using zeros in front of that. So we should now have a date column. Okay, good. And then let's take, let's, let's do the noise figure. So that, uh, as they've said, the noise is the RSSI minus the SNR. So that's our noise level. Let's just do that. Should actually probably just add in uh, so that's date and time, and let's just double check what these are. So that's RSSI, SNR, frequency, let's just use, so that's RSSI, that's the signal to noise ratio, and this is the date, this is the noise. Um, figure. Now let's grab, let's just make this a bit easier to read. There we go. Um, so what can we, what can we do with this? Let's, let's insert a pivot table so we can just very quickly grab some data from it. So let's say on the rows, let's put the date and on the columns, let's put our noise, but let's do, sorry, that's, we don't need that, we need the values. We just need the noise values and we need the average of the noise values. And let's also add a date and time and let's just do, sorry, Made that same mistake again. We'll just add a value, but what we'll do is we'll do data time and then we'll just do the count of that. So how many packets are, are there? I don't know if you can see Atticus is here. Hello, Atticus, dog. Um, okay, so what can we see? Let's have a look. So definitely the, the count i.e. how many beacons, as you can see. So this was this was the day the filter went in. And I didn't actually, because the, because the, the logs disappear every time um, the filter goes in, um, if I go back to the data here, I'm, I'm sure you can find that that was a, there was a gap. Yeah, so there was a gap here so that can be our one data point, but because for some reason COTX cannot off, like there, there's an issue. COTX, when, when, it, when it goes um, into a restart, sometimes it just does not record the logs. I don't know why. Hopefully someone at COTX can fix this. But for that reason, we've only got one data point for the sixth, but let's take that as our day when the filter went in. So that's the... So that's the day when the filter went in. We'll just put that as our filter day. So, so what can we see? Well, the 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 total number of packets have 
gone up. Yeah. If you look at that, that's that's a huge improvement, especially on the 13th, this a couple of days ago. We've never seen these numbers before. We've never seen these numbers before. But you know, the, the 13th you can see there, that was a very good day. I don't know what was happening, but that was a very good day. Um and yes, you could say that I mean, I would say the network average was somewhat the same. My earnings are somewhat the same, but at least, at least the number of packets being witnessed has gone up. Now, obviously Helium has a load of other issues to deal with, um, but that's, that's, one, that's one good thing I would say. And in terms of the noise, um, how to interpret this? Well, if you look at the, I guess this, this ties into the fact that the because you're seeing more beacons now, or at least a n larger number of beacons, you can also see that the the noise figure has gone lower. And what does the AOTX say about the noise? Well, if your noise is above minus 95, they recommend an installation. They say if your noise is between minus 95 and beneath, between 105, it's an optional installation. So I would say beforehand, my noise was um, above minus 95. Let's have a look. Yeah, pretty much. My noise was above minus 95. Then we put the filter in. Then we've now got into a realm where we're kind of just underneath minus 95, going you know down to minus 97. But on average, I would say this prior Prior to that, you know, we're, we're, we're averaging minus 92 and now we're averaging minus 96. So let's, let's create a results table. So before the filter, the average noise, we would say was minus 91 dBm. Just double check that. Uh, sorry, let's just, let's just make this even easier to read. So that's minus 91. And then after the filter, We'd say it's about minus 96. Minus 96. Uh, I'll deal with this all, it, it, this other stuff in a minute. Let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this. And so, what was the average RSSI and the before and after the filter and the average SNR? We can do that because we've got our pivot table here. So, so instead of average of noise, let's do the average of the SS RSSI. And we're not doing the sum, we're just doing the average. And then we're also adding the average SNR. Where's the SNR? And we're just doing, sorry, that's the column, that shouldn't be a column, should be a value. So SNR, just do average. Okay, it doesn't like that. I don't know why it doesn't like that, but we have it here, here we go. So, before the filter, what was our average RSSI? Uh, minus 106, and after the filter, minus 110. Minus 106, minus 110. So, seems like the filter has allowed us to see weaker signals than before, and let's see what it's done to the noise. So the average noise prior to the filter, we've got minus 14, and after the filter, we've got minus 13.5. Minus 13, sorry, that was minus 14, minus 13.5. And let's just double check if that actually makes sense. We do that, minus that, to give us our calculated noise figure. I mean, they're close enough, right? That's close enough. So as much as, as much as my earnings haven't gone up, it does look like the filter is doing something um, in that these values have changed before and after the filter. Um, what, I, what I did do is before, when I put the filter in, I made a note of this is this is the hotspot with the filter. So this one, I should probably just hide these two so you don't get 
Let's just hide. I'll, do, I'll talk about those another time. Let's just let's just hide those. Uh, so, on Hotspotty, I was seeing 145 witnesses as a transmitter, and 51 witnesses um, as a witness. And on Explorer, my, these were my seven-day averages. And all I did was I took my transmit scale and my seven-day HNT earnings, and I just adjusted it by dividing the earnings by the transmit scale to work out if I, I this is a very crude attempt, but all I did was have a look at what I potentially could be earning if my transmit scale was one. I know it doesn't scale linearly like that, but it's just to see what it potentially could be. So now that we've got after the filter, today is the 15th, let's go back to Hotspotty um, and see what we what we what we can get so let's just go to hotspotty actually hotspotty doesn't work for me on here i have to use safari witnesses okay so interesting so as a witness i am now seeing 65 valid witnesses and as a transmitter i'm now seeing 172 so i think that's actually quite a big increase um Yeah, look at that. So that's 65. That's 172. So that's a decent increase in in witnesses, according to Hotspotty. And according to Explorer, let's have a look at my 7252 7, average and 135. So that hasn't really changed much, but I think Explorer isn't as good as Hotspotty at noticing these things. That's 105. So on Explorer, it hasn't changed much. Um, and I think my transmit scale is 0 0.62 right now. Let's just have a double check of that. Oh, it's 0 0.25, okay, fine, 0.25. And what's the seven day HNT earnings? Well, let's have a look, what's the seven day? 0 0.629, let's put that in, 0 0.629. So when you adjust for the fact, if I, if I did have a transmit scale of one and take into all these things, actually, maybe it is a slight increase. So what, what is that? So if we just do that divided by that that's a that's a fifth that's a 15 percent increase right 1.15 that's a 15 percent increase okay so maybe if you do have a filter you could be seeing something like a 15 percent increase in earnings um so 10 days on you know I think, especially considering my transmit scale is so low, if you are in a slightly better area than me, you can potentially, and you have noise, potentially you could be doing well with a filter. And for the price, I would suggest maybe get a filter and see see what happens. Um, I think I definitely now, having seen this data, it's not just me trying to say, oh, I feel like this is, not earning or it is earning i actually have solid data to prove that the filter in this instance has increased various different metrics including earnings including the total number of uh, beacons being seen and also the noise levels uh, and i you know i think cotx will potentially be quite happy with me you know giving an update telling them that their filter actually works what we will do next is once I've run the Alec Express filter for 10 days, I'll see how that compares to the COTX filter. In theory, it should either be the same or slightly worse because we're using actual connectors to connect the two. But again, we will do our best to, to, to do an update. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.